Okay, that gets to the fun bit where we get to practice on our dummies here. Uh, we're going to use a scenario that this gentleman has arrested or collapsed in the street in Loch uh, We are aware that there's a, a defib that, that resides at Sally's. We're unsure of the access to it, but if you arrive at Sally's and you can't get it out of the box, generally then you need to ring 999 um, and the ambulance will have the code for you to be able to open the box and, and get the, the defib out. But if you can stay with the patient and send someone else for the defib, or someone else stay with the patient and you go for the defib, but it's quite important, in fact it's essential that, that CPR is started immediately. So I've sent someone off to Sally's for the defib and I'm going to stay in. After I've checked my patient, checked the area, I realise he's not breathing, I realise he has no pulse. So I'm still in with two rescue breaths and open his mouth, clears airway, and then you have two rescue breaths. Then I'm still into compressions, which I give 30. Okay. So at this point, someone has arrived back from, from Sally's with the defib, and I have it here. So I'm opening it up, switching it on. There's a little diagram on this pad that goes to whereabouts on the chest the pads go. So Make sure I'll put this one here and this one up here. Okay. So when the pads make a connection, like this, it's now analyzing. It's detecting where there's a shockable rhythm. Okay, so we don't touch the patient. Okay, so now I'm advising a shot. Press the flashing orange button now. Shock delivered. So we've delivered the shock. Be sure the ambulance service has been... So remind us to call the ambulance. It is safe to touch the patient. So now it's safe to touch the patient. So we go step back in again and we give two rescue breaths. And we step back into our 30 compressions. This will analyze again. The pads are back on. This will analyze again in two minutes, uh, and if it detects a shock of a rhythm again, it'll uh, it'll advise another shock. Just keep going with the defib telling you what to do and doing your CPR until the ambulance service arrives. That uh, will take that that will be that will be uh, you, you must keep going. Now, there's only three reasons why you would stop. One, the patient recovers. Uh, two, the ambulance service arrives or three, you become physically unable to, to perform CPR anymore and at that point it's a danger to yourself. So that's CPR guys.